So here, guys, I'm measuring the final results after assembly. As I saw, the wow and flat is not ideal. 0 0.08 to 0 0.09. It's still more or less fine and should be good. But as you may see, we can see pikes 3.5 gears and 7 gears and then 10.5 gears or 11. So, and so that's all connected to belt and rotation of the cup stance. That's the best bell I have, so probably if I can find better belt, it may go to 0.06%. Uh, so far, I'm not sure. Uh, it's P2C, ideal. 3000 gears. Good. Now, let's check levels. And it's just perfect. Good. Next, you can see sleep. And let's check spectrum. So, you see both channels are even, and it gets all the same levels for the whole range. No significant drops or hikes. Good. Going up. And that's what we were observing on the oscilloscope and millivoltmeter. So I see heat, 10 kilohertz, 12, 14, 15, gets a little bit higher because it's a Sony tape and all the Kamichi are playing a little bit brighter after 12 kilohertz. Now let's do a recording test, type one tape. Uh, minus 20 decibel, white noise, that's the source, okay. and now I am recording. Did you see the change? So, source, tape, it's just perfect. Now. Uh, I will be playing with azimuth here. I will adjust a little bit and let's see how it will affect. So it's 1 p.m. You see? And during the recording it shows red and it was blinking. See? Green. And then it's blinking. Ah, oh, azimuth is off. So it's 1 p.m. And we already lost like uh, 4 decibel. Now 2 p.m. Wow, 3 p.m. And the worst case scenario. We lost like everything above 5 kilogears in this position. Okay. Now, let's go back and let's do left. So as it mechanical, you see I can adjust during the recording. 11 p.m. Now you see the red channel goes down. 10 p.m. 9 p.m. Wow, well, minus 15 decibel. And the worst case. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's put it back into green. And it immediately becomes perfect. No. Now, would be the chrome tape, type 2, 
doing the same so the tape source this source you see is synchronized on the very low bus and tape okay now let's see minus 10 decibel source tape minus 6 decibel source and tape yeah I see like 3 decibel drop after 10 kilohertz on this level well good to know and next would be the TDKMA tape I left the levels so levels are where minus 2 decibel uh, between uh, source and tape so I decided to leave as this because this TDK tapes are records like a couple decibel over comparing to the Sony or other tapes I now type 4 that's the source and now uh, tape everything will get 2 decibel lower but it's same perfect gain source and tape it gets lower on the uh, low range but on the high range it even gets higher okay, good now let's try minus 10 decibel very good minus 6 so that's the source and that's the tip so you see no drop let's me scale in so now okay one square is one decibel so that's the source okay i'm looking into 15 kilogears range and tape minus one decibel on left channel minus two on right channel let me just face a little bit will help No, you see they both going down here see the left channel itself that's a tape specific it's a little bit of okay but it's just one decibel on minus six let's do zero so that's the source on the highs looking in the 15 kilohertz range and the tape minus 2 minus 3 decibel on zero level get that <laughs> again source and tape so no drop so this deck records like almost no drop on the high frequencies at zero levels Why? perfect i wish they only did uh, direct drive motors on this deck a little last small dragon uh, grandson <laughs> so the last real true nakamichi they didn't do any other than Kamichi with azimut adjustment on playback. There was Dragon, CR7, and this guy. Oh, maybe there was Nakamichi Deck 1, something like that, I believe. Alright, see you. Bye bye.